This session is about the reuse, the refurbishment or the substitution of private office buildings and headquarters. Such decisions lie on a mix of financial, technical, political or real estate reasons, but also on heritage issues if we look at these buildings as an integral part of our cities. Something peculiar that we found during the preparation of the exhibition is that already two of the buildings that we were visiting, built in the 90s, were already voted for demolition. At the KBC uh, headquarters there were three buildings and uh, the third one, only built in 1998, will soon be demolished to make room for a new housing scheme um, awarded through a competition. Also in the same neighborhood, uh, at the beginning of the Little Manhattan district, the Baudevain building, also built by Jacques Ma, um, will probably be demolished soon uh, after that the Flemish administration has moved to a new building near uh, Tour and Taxis. Uh, even the European Parliament here, uh, only built in 1992, is being debated. At the time of the exhibition, at the radio, there were uh, people and uh, parliament members um, arguing that the building should be demolished due to technical uh, problems and to safety and security reasons. Only 25 years after its completion. Um, other buildings uh, that we visited for the exhibition had already replaced um, other buildings. Uh, very famous and um, quite a controversy is the um, demolition and uh, reconstruction of the Martini Tower. Actually, it was the only um, tower that was beloved by every citizen because uh, it had a public um, roof that was accessible. And uh, the Martini Tower, um, architects had made plans to refurbish it, but it was very difficult for probably mostly technical reasons. And uh, it was finally built by uh, Philippe Sama and um, Michel Jaspers and uh, partners. Um, the controversy actually occupied quite a lot the, the public space and the public debate for architecture. Uh, also because of the new trend that the major of Brussels at the time um, had against uh, office towers and mostly contemporary architecture uh, in high-rise. He thought that every, from the balcony of the Grand Place, uh, no modern architecture should be seen, which was quite a problem when you consider that the Martini Tower and the Lotto Tower were very central and it kind of created an image for Brussels, even though it was in a strong contrast with the medieval or neoclassical uh, fabric of the city. Uh, architects in the, in the 90s and early 2000s, when the demolition of these buildings were, were debated, argued that they were part of the heritage of Brussels and that for that reason they should be preserved. So, this, I think this idea of the corporate decay goes beyond, beyond a simple building. It also can concern a whole district. If we take the Little Manhattan district, for instance, we see that there is a quite a rapid pace of refurbishment, new buildings are made, etc. But the whole neighborhood, as we, as we can see here, is actually maybe obsolete at odds uh, with uh, today's idea of uh, office space. It is still a monofunctional building, a uh, neighborhood with a high-rise glazed facade, um, very windy. And so, uh, despite this rejuvenation, architects must think how the whole neighborhood uh, can be rethought and re-metabolized in, in the new uh, shape of Brussels. Thank you all. Thank you.